welcome back, lords and ladies, to another exciting episode of Let's Play Dark Cloud. We're in the brand new village. We're taking on the dungeon. This is level two. We have no idea how much Atla exists here, but we're going to keep going until we hit a roadblock, as is how we do these things typically. Also, we have bomber heads from freaking what? Uh, Manataki Village? I'm, re I'm remembering that correctly, right? These guys are from Manataki. They're just slightly different reskins. At least we're getting, like, new models for certain things. Oh no, my bag can't carry anymore. Well, that's always a bummer. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and repair. Uh, I would like to, to, to give our lady some more gourds and, you know, some fruits of Edens. Uh, maybe we should. Maybe we should. I mean, she is pretty awesome. But at the same time, that takes effort, bro. I guess we should have backed out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we'll, eat, we'll eat some tasty water. Because we have more premium water. And then we're going to maybe drop off some antidotes. I was sure it was like a quick way to delete these. There probably is. I'm just not remembering the buttons. Because we have five holy waters, five antidote drinks. Just because we kept picking them up. Then we have all these explosive items that aren't really worth that much. So probably we'll throw those out as well. Yeah, all we picked up was another throwable, so. That is one thing that is kind of interesting about this game, is that uh, all the time we're running into weird situations where we don't know what we're going to pick up. Oh, we lost our Drawn's Feather, of course. So in, in games and action RPGs like Diablo or something like that, you would commonly see the item before you pick it up, but in this one, it's a question mark, so you physically don't know what it is until you pick it up, so you don't know if it's good or not. But at the same time, this game gives you thief. I mean, steal, so it's better, you know, and we're hurting everywhere. Ha-ha, <laughs> got him. Someone's gonna be like, are you telling me Dark Cloud is better than Diablo? And I'm like, well, no, they're completely different games, but, you know. <laughs> Both action RPGs, though, it's just... The funny thing is, ARPG usually classifies like, you know, top-down isometric RPGs. Which is super bizarre, because there's, you know, a lot of action RPGs. Hell, Nier Automata is an uh, action RPG, but it could also be classified as a, uh, whatchamacallit? What's the, what's the word? Um, spectacle Fighter. Which is super weird, you know, because it's very similar to Metal Gear Rising. So, I don't know. Descriptions for games is weird. Think of League of Legends as well. MOBA, Mobile Online Battle Arena. Just absolutely ridiculous. As I stall here to attempt to switch my current attribute over to fire, which we don't have. Oh god, here, throw this in there. Very crucial to give her at least one point in each of these spells. And then we have to awkwardly aim and hit X. Oh god, please. Wait, what? Ruby? I, am I am I crazy here? Because that looks like the right color, right? Maybe maybe it's holy. It's because it's because holy in the center of it has like a slight tinge. Oh, there's a large chest over there. All right, let's give it a go. Let's have a bash. It's locked. All right. Uh, force the chest open. Let's go for curse. Cause screw curse. Actually, it doesn't really matter, actually. It's just your explosion. It was poison the whole time. And the reason I'm doing that is just because I don't care for spending poison. And we were kind of backed in a corner, so I don't feel comfortable running away. Alright, we get a sham shear. Not, not very good. Don't like it. We should, um, we should level up some of Tone's side weapons and just start stuffing them into other weapons. I'm actually... Yeah, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. I should do that. It takes effort, though, but it's it's worth it. Let's uh, let's let's go to weapons. Switch over to Tone to Toyan. Okay, what weapon? What weapon should we level? Chopper. Chopper's good. Sax is good. What would be great is if we ran across a weapon that has like durability up. Of course, we're not going to run into that though because. This is a let's play and we never get what we want. 
But, it, you know, it would be nice if we could run into something like that. Uh, so let's just see here what we want to break down. Sax, I think, is a good choice. I would love to break down the Macho Sword, but just out of... Look at it. Just with your with your eyes. You have... Look at it with your eyes. It's beautiful. You can't break it down. It's unbreakable down -able words. I'm just I'm just telling the truth. I say, I say how it is. I think Sax is good, though. I like the WHP on it, too. So I feel a little bit safer using it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but then also the chopper. Chopper is like a better sax, isn't it? I think the chopper... That's weird. Look at the... It is just a better sax. Okay, we're doing chopper then. Chopper. All right. Uh, so here's what we do. We simply equip the chopper, but we don't use it until the last hit, right? Is that how it works? We hit this guy, and then we switch to tone. And then we attempt murder. Then you attempt murder. That's how it works. And then how are we? <laughs> it's gonna take forever. And then uh, we're at four. We got four AP. Now, if this was uh, Dark Cloud 2, this would be much easier leveling uh, specific weapons. But whatever. Hit him once. Go for the toe in. All right, maybe we'd be better if we just actually just equip tone. With the uh, the actual weapon. Also, of course, these guys explode uh, because, of course, they do. I think, yeah, I think it's better just to equip the weapon, and then we'll also have the Parado in his as well. Which I think the Parado is currently equipped on the Alamilia sword. Oh, we don't need it because he's already max damage. Okay, let's go for our super, uh, or not. Let's go for the whirlwind. One, two. All right, come at me, bro. That did work. Ah! Honest to God, mistakes are made to fight bomb. Never, I, new rule: don't fight bombers. <laughs> don't attack them with melee attacks. Bad move. The price, the prices I pay to try and level up other weapons. I feel like we need to just stuff weapons into other weapons. I think that's the right choice. We're really at a, a time in the game where it's either farm back rooms or farm up your current like extra spare weapons and. Start shoving them in your new weapons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shove them in like you're packing a pipe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh god, I gotta learn how to fight. Uh, okay, whirlwind. Sir. <laughs> I should try and remember that I also have a, uh... <laughs> The, what is, what's the word? I have a block. I can block things. That's also very important. And I should try not to break my weapon because then I would lose the current weapon inside. Hey. Got some hay. Thank goodness these mummies are super easy to take on. Oh, another big chest. It's gonna be a mummy, though. I mean, mimic. I lied. It's a bone slingshot. Also a good weapon, though. I'm surprised we're not farming too hard here. Also, we should probably put the item into the lovely door here. Throw the king slate in there, make it look gorgeous. How dare we defile the king's stuff, right? Of course, we could also just start leveling up the bone slinger. But we'll do we'll do chopper first. We'll do choppa first. Big chopper. Brooks house, okay. And there is level two. Easy. Easy clap. Doesn't don't even need upgraded weapons for this. Well, okay, I'm lying. This is technically an upgraded weapon with the current equipment inside. Let's just keep going, man. Let's just keep delving into it. We're not even ten minutes in, we're still going. We're kicking ass. And that's the most important thing, man. Uh, okay, apparently we need some sort of square item here. Completely unsure as to what they want from me, but okay. Ooh, it's a double hit on that one. Okay, we can do this one more time, right? Even stole the antidote drink. We are absolute monsters. Okay. Um... 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, all these antidote amulets and things are kind of worthless. Uh, just because we have so many antidotes just from stealing stuff. We're not even purchasing these things, we just steal them. One thing that would be nice is if we can get to the back room again. Ah, there we go. Although, that doesn't look like a key. That looks like a padlock, dude. But, uh, you know, don't let me tell you what it is. I feel like the lock-picking lawyer is gonna attack me at some point here, man. He's just gonna be like, alright, and then three into, into five, and then... Looks like we're wiggling in number two real quick, and... Oh shit, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. you're not gonna stab me with that, sir. That, that's what it'll say me on. Uh, that'll say. <laughs> I can't speak English. That's what it's gonna say on my tombstone. What are you gonna do, stab me? Famous, famous last words. In fact, the only last words, really. Oh shit, we got the mimics again. Alright, can we kill him at least? We can, but very carefully. We already got Chopper's abs leveled. At least once, anyway. That was a lot. That's a lot of abs. Although the sax is kind of on the same boat in terms of ab consumption. Let's not throw the synth sphere in there. However, uh, ooh, the question is, do we combine the Chopper with the current big money hammer? With the current big money salvia, you know what I'm saying? Because once it goes to plus five, then, you know, you get all those nice juicy bonuses. Although, no, it would be limited. Yeah, it would be limited, so it wouldn't be worth it. But it is worth it throwing it into a weapon and giving it a nice little boost of damage and shit. I find definitely using weapons to upgrade the base stats seems to be a pretty smart move. Because most of the trinkets that we get only go like plus one to plus three stats. But physically upgrading a sword, like you're gonna get like what, plus 15 to at least all of them. And sure it takes up a lot of uh, a lot of time, a lot of ABS building and all that stuff, but I think it's worth it in the end. Also, did I remember to re-equip the uh... Oh yeah, I did, okay, we're good. I should have noticed this because I was still doing 85 damage, but I just wanted to make sure. Great, okay. More Atla, please. Cabin. A cabin in the oasis. Getting some decent fishing items. I think the oasis that we just got to uh, in the first zone that we we did in the in the run. I think that is where we fish up the Marden Garians or whatever the hell they're freaking called. We hit them just right, we can get the double hit. Sometimes they bounce back though. Either through knockback or some other garbage. Oh yeah, a tree! Hey, we got him with the last hit. You know, all things considered, like comparing both the Japanese and the English version of this game, I do prefer the English version. There's a lot of nice little improvements to it. It's like a big patch from the original. Even though the translation isn't great, at least I can still read it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the biggest plus. And also, like, at least we have things, like, major improvements over the Japanese version to be able to see all those build-up information nodules and everything like that. So, you know, it feels relatively good. It feels relatively good to play this version of the game. Even if uh, Chow is super nerfed and Tone is also super nerfed with having his multi-hit combo. It just, oddly enough, this multi-hit combo, although much weaker, feels better overall. And 
and uh, and of course we see bigger damage numbers in this game too, which is super fun. I guess you know we should have uh, switched all our characters around on that little uh, pool of water there, but eh, we're trying to level Choppa right now, so it's all good. More Choppa for the Daka, you know what I'm saying? I'm curious what we should level up though, uh, or whose weapon we're gonna level up. I'm thinking Goro. But I'm also thinking Chow. I think Chow's a bit behind now. Ruby's obviously just gonna forever be behind right now. Although we kind of want to level her up too, because she want her to be able to take on the final boss. She's a crucial, crucial part in this game. Like she's a must, must use character. Uh, because you have no choice, is what I'm trying to say. She's uh, she's not must have because she's good. She's must have because she's the only choice you get. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not sure why. Come on, Ungaga! What's happened to you? I heard that Ungaga is the strongest warrior in the whole Muska Desert. Maybe he used to be, but not anymore. He failed to protect village. He is no longer a warrior. He's weak now. You know what? Being strong and on the battlefield and being truly strong as a person are not the same, are they now? Hmm. What do you think of Tone, the one who was with me? What do I think? I don't understand. I sent something very strong from that person, like a will, a power deep within him, in his heart. I don't know exactly what it is. Yes, Tone is strong. I am weak. Oh boy. Man, poor Ungaga. Having to deal with that voice on the side. <laughs> oh, also, he's kind of sad too. It is kind of weird that we go straight to the temple, but we don't go to the town at all. But it kind of makes sense. You, you you generally deal with that every time anyway. You come to a new town. Like, you can't do shit with the town anyway. Not until you've uh, pretty much hit that roadblock. Like, sure, you can do it piece by piece, try and get all the treasure chests. But I like to live dangerously and make the whole town at the same time. As much as I can anyway. And then regret everything. Ooh, that was close. I was gonna get bit. Ooh, another Dran's Feather. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much, game. You never know, man. It could always be monsters in the corners there. Gotta keep an eye out. Another one. Alright, it's time it's time for Goro to make a move. Let's get the dodge in and then we'll charge up. Look at that, just two, two big, strong hits. And then Goro is done. He doesn't even have an upgraded battle axe. He's just chilling with like his father's axe with almost default, near default. All right, we got a magical power plus two. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Shit. Oh, you get repair powder from these guys, too. I guess it makes sense. One, two, and charge attack. Woo! Ow! I just got sucker punched. Hit him! Woo! It's really not worth doing that attack to those guys. I wonder, does my, does my whirlwind... Does my whirlwind uh, give me eye frames when I'm doing that? Because then I could take on the bomb. Pretty much no problem. We're pretty close to level two, but this is, ooh, this is taking a while on our chopper. We should have done Shamshir because it's a bit faster to level. I wonder what, like, is the most efficient thing to do. Is it to buy, like, a Wise Owl sword? Build up the Wise Owl sword and then use that? Is it to go get the fish sword? Level that one up? Break that one down? I'm curious to... I'm curious uh, what you guys think is, like, the best, most efficient way to level up weapons in this game. Through, uh, through what we do now. Also, oh, man, we're maxed out on gear. Metal Gear, it's maxed out. Oh no! 
Let's just, you know, let's just throw one of our bullions in the trash. Uh, no, let's just... I don't know. I bought too much cheese is what I did. What a big mistake. Throw this... <laughs> throw these antidotes in the trash. Let's go down to three antidotes. I know, we could be making money off these. I could absolutely just have headed back to town millions of hours ago. Uh, but you know what? The lockpicking lawyer asked me to pick up the stone key. He's gonna use the double wrench method to break that stone key open to allow me into my locker room. And, uh, truthfully, that's the most important thing. Oh shit, now we just got regular golems? Oh no. Okay, this is where we need to use Chow and her brilliance. Nice. Okay, now we sneak on in with Toan. Beauty. Okay, hit this guy with the whirlwind. One, two, away from the sucker punch ya. Yeah. Hey, oh, come on, it lingers? Oh my god. All right, I see how it is. I see what you've done, game. Don't think I don't know, game. Don't think I don't know how you play this game. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> the hitboxes linger so... What? Why are you kidding me? Okay, at least 71 damage was enough to kill him. But still, are you kidding me? That is like some straight up Goro level AoEs. Like lingering AoE nonsense that you can't even see off screen. It's so weird, man. There's so much broken things in this game that I love and also hate simultaneously. More Roads. Add them to the collection. Like, look at this shit. Okay, okay, okay. We do this, right? He goes for the sucker punch. Oh, no. He's hiding. I can't throw my sword at him, though. Let's do, the, let's do the single strike, right? Or not, okay. Unless, okay, I can swing and then block, right? So let's, let's swing and block at the, what the? What is he? Ah! <laughs> oh my God, he can just, wait, do you get abs for that? Can you do, oh wait, you know what? I can just throw items at people, man. I totally forgot you can just throw shit at, maybe I should throw bombs at the bombs. What? Okay, sir. I, I totally forgot you can just throw shit at, at stuff in the game. Okay, sir. It's <laughs> the most difficult bug I've ever dealt with. Oh, you know why this is happening? It's because I'm not doing the double charge. One, two. Aha! I'm gonna go swat a bothersome fly. Wow, Snake, you're so cool. Upgrade all. Light and easy to use. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, hold on here, though. I want to check my capture device real quick. All right, we're good. I didn't need to change anything. Oh no! <laughs> sorry, sorry there. I made I made everything reboot for a split second there. But the recording's still going, so uh, you know, we're good. We're good. I was just trying to make sure the the recording was not locked down to like 30 FPS or something. We're taking so much damage on this poor Choppa. Oh, you know what? We 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 didn't put in the uh, the hammer again. I was too busy. I was big distract. There we go. Now we do damage. Now we do big damage. Much better. I don't know. I'm I'm looking at the recording. It doesn't look as smooth as normal. So I'll see if I can fix it in the next recording. Apologies about that. Curious to know if you guys notice anything different. Ow!
Oh, whoops. Alright, ah, you know what? Get the abs. There we go. I'm not quite sure that if you switch before, you know, the enemy dies, if uh, the abs go to no one? If they go into limbo? It's a possibility. We should, uh, we should test this theory. Let's... We're theory crafting now. I don't know. I'm Matt Pat today. Uh, she's at 88 and Tone is at 10, right? Tone's chilling at 10. She's at 88. Let's... Because this is a golem that has like a six year long thing. 88 on Chow, 10 on Tone. Kill this guy. All right, she's shooting the ball. All right, so tones clearly didn't go up. So his stayed at 10, and hers stayed at, it goes into limbo. Oh no. Is that real? That is real. Interesting, now we know for the future. The, the, the abs go into limbo. No one, because <laughs> the game doesn't register as anyone specifically destroying the monster, I guess, because it despawned the character. What? Well, at least now we know for the future. I mean, I already knew that it wouldn't give it to the person I switched to. Okay, do we do we back out and sell some stuff? Let's let's do the Resident Evil. No, don't go. Oh, wait, no, go further though. Let's back out. Let's back out. Let's do some selling. Leave the dungeon temporarily, of course. We're not going to build the town until we hit that roadblock, though. Which probably was, you know, well enough the next the next area. Uh, but yeah. Any new, any new dialogue? Ungaga. Weak. Tone. Strong. All right, buddy. Ungaga is in bad shape. I'll have a talk with him. All right. That's just a Theo. A game Theo. God damn it. Okay, let's go to other area. Let's go to uh, Quen's. Let's go to the grand, the grand land of Quen's. If you didn't know, that's uh, that's the proper pronunciation of Queens, bro. Quen's. <laughs> All right, in in it to win it. I do also need to go check out my bank area. Uh. I don't really think it matters who I talk to here for who I sell stuff to, but is the store open, madame? Okay, we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell all but two holies, and uh, you know what? We only need one holy. I, I say this now, and then we're doomed to eternity. Uh, but hey, I gotta, I gotta do this somehow. We're gonna toss all these bombs in the trash, except one, and we'll get rid of these things. Oh, they are worth fifty, so they are actually worth something. These ones actually stop time, which I kind of want to use because they seem pretty good, but I never use them. So I'm selling them. Also, this one adds sticky to the attack. The double bomb nuts are also cool, but they're going in the trash. And then I, I like the anti-freeze, so we're going to keep those. Anti-curse seems dope, but they're being sold as well. And then uh, anti-goo? You know, let's just do one amulet each. You know, we have one, we have an extra one anyway in our actual inventory, so we should be okay. And then now we can go buy some bullions. Mmm, bullions, delicious chicken soup. I want some gravy. Gravy would be good. I want a poutine now. Mmm. Kind of wanna, I wanna go uh, make some poutine, man. That sounds delicious. Don't know about you guys. You ever had a poutine before? Freaking good. Freaking shit. I mean, wait, they're not shit. They're freaking good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, words are, words are hard. Who sells the good shit? Guy? Jack, maybe? Oh, this guy sells weapons, right? Doesn't he sell the, uh, he sells the hammer, don't he? He does. He also sells the gladius, the bone slinger. Well, the most important thing, obviously, being the big bucks hammer. What is this kitchen like? Oh, doesn't this, um... Low attack power, but causes major damage to water monsters. Hmm. 
I don't. I, I want to know if there's a way to like get guaranteed perks on weapons, like. Unless all the cool weapons are literally just in the final dungeon, like the one before the 100th floor dungeon. I forget what it's called. I, don't, I also don't want to spoil it, but I also don't remember the name of the dungeon, so it's literally impossible for me to spoil it. But it's whatever it was. I'm pretty, that one's the one where we get weapons that literally have, like, uh, like vampiric abilities on them, where if you hit the monster, you get a percentage of the damage as health back. Like, crazy nonsense like that. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts, dude. Let's check out this Joker's store, right? Is that his, isn't that his name? Joker? Lord Joker? He also sells gold bullions, man. I don't know, I don't know what the world's coming to, but it is. Wow, we have all this money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand two hundred and seventy-four dollars. It's a good it's a good, a good amount. I'd say, you know, half decent, not half bad. And then, alas, let's go into the... This isn't a medical area, even though it's advertising itself as one. I think originally this was supposed to be a place that sold medical supplies. I mean, I get that he's a doctor, but... Like, I don't know. Weird, man. Shit. I'm gonna grab that explosive and throw my poisonous apples in here. Soon, man. Soon. Big soon. We're gonna be able to use all those, which is super awesome. Where do our minions go? There we go. Get the carrot in there as well. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll take a look at these. Oh, look at all the plant busters. Woo! Even those plant busters. Yeah. And then, we'll mimic killer. Because we're gonna throw that into what's his face's gear. Yeah, we're good. We're living the dream. I like it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next one, we'll continue down on the on our route to learning how the heck to save Ungaga, which is also known as we need you to open up a door for us, most likely. <laughs> that tends to be how it goes. Uh with Dark Cloud. You get to a certain point in the game, you need the new character to open the new doorway. And then you're ready to keep on going and have a good time. Can't wait until then, though. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you have, consider leaving a like. And I am Akabane101, signing off. Take it easy. Love you guys. Peace.